Can you answer 10 hard questions about Treasure Planet, the animated classic? Let's find out. Question 1. The letters in the name of the RLS Legacy hint at Treasure Island's author, whose name is... Robert Lewis Stevenson. Question 2. How many years is it between Jim reading his storybook and the main plot? That's how I measure time in my life. Twelve years! That's uh, three Olympiads. Question three. Jim is often found doing what hobby? Running afoul of the police who go whoop whoop. That is their sound after all. Solar surfing. Clap, 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 clap. Question four. What colour is Morph in his natural state? What colour are Mighty Morph and Power Rangers in their natural state? Pink? I guess we're all pink on the inside? I don't know. Question five. Which mutinous pirate cuts Mr. Arrow's lifeline? Was it 50-50 or the RC audience? Scroop! I mean, there was also phone a friend. Question six. What happened to Jim's father? Haha, <laughs> Jim's father, like, share, and subscribe, Quivia. Please. He abandoned Jim and Sarah. Won't you tell me your name? Question seven. What does B-E-N stand for? Stands for... Bad Improv Now. Bioelectronic Navigator. Or Ben for short. Ben is missing something critical. What is it? He's falling apart at the seams. Pitching himself leads in other people's dreams. His memory circuit. Question 9. Jim sets the portal to where exactly so that the RLS legacy can escape the collapsing treasure planet. Montresor Spaceport. Port, port, port. Question 10. Where does Jim attend school after the events of the movie? Did he go to the same school that Matilda went to from Leon the Professional? No, I guess not. Interstellar Academy! Is that where Buzz Lightyear went to school? Nobody knows! But do you know what score you get? Let us know in the comments below. I'm falling apart at the seams, but I'm not pitching myself as leads in other people's dreams. Quivia. Quivia. Doc, there's a hole where my quivia was. Why am I doing Fly Boy? Bye!